Good morning. This is your morning sip. I don't know what you may be having, but for me, I'm having some coffee this morning. Maybe you may be having some herbal tea, orange juice, apple juice, grape juice, whatever you're having. Please have it with Jesus Christ. This morning, you will find me coming to you. I'll be talking to you about running the race with hope. And you'll find me in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, reading verse 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily beset us, and let us run this race with patience that is set before us. You know, sometimes I might be talking to someone this morning who um, may be in a backslidden position. Maybe you might um, be lukewarm. Maybe you might have some stuff that has been... Um, troubling you and has kept you away from the faith. You know, in Galatians 7, it speaks about how you are running a good race and, and who, who did cut you off. And, you know, what I would like to say to you is, in Galatians, it was in Galatians 5 and 7, maybe you may be in a situation where you had, 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 had totally stumbled and felt like there was no hope. There is still hope. There's still hope. There's always hope at the foot of the cross. And, you know, um, Get, all I would say to you today is to get back up, dust yourself off, and get back in the race. Man may judge you. God is there pulling for you. Jesus is sitting at the right-hand side of the Father, pleading on your behalf. He took his blood and he placed it on the mercy seat, pleading on your behalf, so that you could have eternal life, so that you could have an eternal hope. I don't care. People believe that you cannot have fun in this present age. You can have fun. You can have clean, wholesome fun. You could go and enjoy your friends and have fun in Christ Jesus. But the way you do it, you're going to do it in such a clean, um, professional way that people will see you and they'll say, boy, I didn't know that Christians could have such fun. You can have fun. You can live holy and you can live right in this present age. Um, we'll see in, 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 in the book of 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 of, 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 of um, Corinthians um, 9 and 24, um, 25 or 24 and 25 you'll see where Paul is still talking about running this race also about with hope then we'll see in, in Timothy 2nd Timothy chapter 4 and 7 we would see where Timothy uh, where Paul is speaking to the church and Paul has said I have fought a good fight I have kept the faith I have finished my course Paul said he has finished his course now now he has passed on the baton to somebody else to continue you know something but the thing about it is we do not just run this race as people without hope we have an eternal hope we have our hope which is in Jesus Christ we have this hope that will never ever 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 make us ashamed we have this hope that we could share the good news of the gospel and we could tell people because it's not it's not a fantasy it's a reality that one day God is coming back and that one day I would like to be in his presence and I would like to see you there too so let me say this to you today i don't know what it is you're going through but i know that if you allow god to help you he will guide you and he will give you that peace and you will have that eternal hope you will have that hope but that will never ever make you ashamed let us bow our heads in a word of prayer gracious and eternal father god i don't know who it is out there today who may be in a backslidden position who might be going through um turmoil who might be having going through a decision whether to continue on whether to stand firm whether to hold on to this hope that will never make a shame Father God, I pray that you will continue to give them the grace and the peace and the, that peace that sustains them and that peace that goes beyond all understanding, O oh God. Father God, I just pray that they will continue to trust you and allow you to walk with them, Father God. For, for the word says that Jesus, the songwriter says that Jesus goes with me, I will go. So Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask that you continue to walk with us, to talk with us, and to give us that sustaining hope that will never make us ashamed. This is my prayer in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Remember, if you like this page, remember, go to our YouTube channel, Morning Sip. If you like, you must go there, like and share. Let other people know about the good news of the gospel. We are also on Facebook. Also, you will find Morning Sip on Facebook. But what I would like to say to you today, go out there, share love with somebody. And if you are in a backslidden position or was in one, only thing you need to do is to call on the name of Jesus and he will set you free. He will give you this peace. He will give you this eternal hope. This is your morning sip. Enjoy your day.